Yo guys, what's up? It's T-Bot here, and today we're going to be attacking with all max level 5 dragons in the new update. So as you can see, I gemmed them up, and they're full in my army camps, and we're going to be attacking in high masters league. I got 12 of them, all level 5. Let's go ahead and look at the barracks and see the stats of the new dragons. So as you can see, we're going to go to our barracks here, and the damage per second is 220 damage, uh, 2,700 hit points, and 42,000 elixirs. So I'm really interested in seeing how this dragon performs in the raid. Uh, it looks like it's got a buff in all of those things, and I'm really excited to attack some max town hall towns or some lower level town hall towns uh, with this strategy. So as you can see, we found our base. This is Jake the Great from Rejects, and I'm going to be using my dragons on the bottom left-hand side. As you can see, he's got level 6 air defense. This is going to be really easy. I brought my uh, haste spells, I believe, and we're going to be dropping two of them at the bottom, and they're going to speed it up. But they don't last too long because they're level 1, so that's very unfortunate. 12%. And it looks like the dragons are taking some uh, considerable amount of damage. They're splitting up just a little tiny bit. I brought an extra lightning spell just in case the clan castle troops. And it looks like the clan castles came out. So we're going to be uh, dropping the lightning spell right there. Some dragons are on the left hand side. 30% of in the inferno towers are going off. So I really don't recommend the strategy against town hall 10s. Uh, but obviously this is for town hall 10s. And then Super Saul implemented this on purpose uh, to fight against town hall 10s. So 39% looks like we're going to be in the lower level 40 percentages. Last dragon on the left hand side is going to die out in a few seconds there from the wizard tower and from the air defense and from that inferno tower. So we got around 42-43% uh, from the dragons and we still have our barbarian king and arch queen. So I definitely recommend uh, saving your barbarian king and arch queen until the very very last uh, second of the raid. So the barbarian king is going to go on that dark elixir storage and nothing is protecting it. So I got some awesome free Dark Elixir, uh, just because I spent all of that Dark Elixir on the Haste spell. 42%, uh, let's see if the uh, Barbarian King is going to head down to the Barracks, and the Elixir Collectors give me some like 49%, 48%, something like that. And the Archer Queen is going to be deployed to get maybe an extra 2%, uh, but I'm just going to wait it off right now. And I'm going to deploy the Rage ability as soon as the Barbarian King uh, loses a lot of health until he gets to the red ability. So overall, tell me what you guys think of the new level 5 dragons in action. Uh, I didn't think it was that big of a deal. I thought they were more like level 4 dragons, uh, but maybe I just deployed them wrong. Obviously, I don't use dragons on a regular basis. So I'm going to end the raid 50% exactly, 9 trophies, and uh, we got a considerable amount of loot as well. Let's get into the next raid. So I'm going to be attacking Twitch from Frontline, uh, Dragons on the left hand side this time. I couldn't find a base with level 6 air defenses, so I went with this guy, and he's pretty average Town Hall 10 actually. So Dragons are going to go in, I'm going to drop the haste spell right and left hand side. Hopefully they head over to the Town Hall, and it looks like this is going to be really, really close. After they finish taking out some of those defenses, uh, they either go to the right or left or they go to the center of the base, and that's what I'm hoping they're going to go for, and the Inferno Tower can stretch all the way to the outside of the base. Dragons, around four dragons, have had have headed into the uh, center of the base, and I'm going to drop another haste spell right there, and it looks like they're going to target some expos. It's going to take a long time just because they have so many hit points, along with the Inferno Towers, uh, so the dragons were not able to target that Town Hall and get us the one star. I now have 37%. Dragon on the left hand side is doing his own thing on that elixir collector on that gold mine. And hopefully uh, going to take out some more. And we can use our Barbarian King and Archie Queen to take that easy 50%. Uh, that's going to be around 8 more percentage. He's going to take out the spell factory before the air defense takes him out. So 1 minute remaining. And Barbarian King is going to be dropped on the left hand side. I wanted him to go towards the Town Hall, carve away for my Arch Queen so the Arch Queen could shoot the Town Hall. But obviously, it doesn't look like it's going to work out, and I'm having second thoughts right about now. And I realized there are still two Inferno Towers up, so there was in no way I was going to be able to get that Archer, or uh, excuse me, get that Town Hall with the Archer Queen. So uh, right now, I'm thinking that the raid is completely over unless my Archer Queen uh, can be strategically placed, where she can get eight extra percentage buildings. So some more clan castles is going to be uh, targeted towards the Barbarian King. I'm going to use his Iron Fist ability very shortly, right about now, 28 seconds remaining. He's going to break through that wall, then take out the Wizard Tower, uh, hopefully take out that Air Defense as well. So the Arch Queen has been dropped on the left-hand side, uh, while all the defenses are focused on my Barbarian King. I should have dropped her anywhere else other than that, 
look at all those storages. They have so many hit points, and that's going to be the end of the raid. So if you guys enjoyed uh, watching the video, tell me what you guys think of the level 5 dragons in the comment section down below. And I'll see you guys in the next one. Peace.